U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chairman Robert Menendez introduced a powerful amendment that would end U.S. Presidential Waiver Authority of Section 907 of the Freedom Support Act, an Armenian National Committee of America-backed measure that would effectively block U.S. military aid to Azerbaijan. U.S. President Joe Biden has not invited Turkey and Azerbaijan to Democracy Summit, but Armenia is among the invitees. Some countries, such as Turkey and Hungary, have not been invited because their leaders have been undermining their democratic systems for years, the report said. In her speech at the OSC Autumn Session, National Assembly Armenia Faction MP Lilith Galestian said that the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is awaiting its just settlement under the OSC Minsk Group co-chairs. Minister of Defense Arshak Karapetyan on November 5 received French ambassador to Armenia and Layov. The site discussed the situation on the Armenian-Azerbaijani border, regional security, reforms in the armed forces and, in the context, the Armenian-French bilateral cooperation in the field of defense. In response of MP Armenui Gurerian's question regarding the enlargement of communities, Minister of Territorial Administration said that outflow from border settlements has been going on for a real long time, especially from smaller and remote border settlements. It's a serious issue, even a national security issue, he said. I have not yet noticed any progress in the investigation, Armenian Minister of Environment Romanos Petrosian told reporters in Parliament when asked if the Amulsar mine will be exploited. I don't have any mandate to intervene on or influence the process at the moment until the criminal case is resolved and the objective reality is revealed, he said. At a meeting of the Supreme State Council of the Union State, the President of Russia and Belarus, Vladimir Putin and Alexander Lukashenko approved all 28 Union programs and signed the corresponding document. As Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin specified, the Union programs cover the macroeconomic, industrial and agricultural policies of the states. A spokesman for the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran has said the country's stockpile of uranium in reached to a purity level of 20% has surpassed 210 kilograms. About 2,000 new COVID-19 cases were registered in Armenia yesterday. 50 people died.